In our continuing coverage, more than 65 local veterans are spending the day in Washington, D.C. as part of the 8th Oklahoma Warriors Honor Flight. Yeah, you can see that everybody sending them off this morning. We brought you live coverage as they took off from Tulsa International Airport on Fox 23 News this morning. Fox 23 weekend anchor Julia Gorman shows us this once in a lifetime trip. An early morning for dozens of Vietnam, Korea, and World War II veterans as they hit the road to Tulsa International Airport for the 8th Oklahoma Warriors Honor Flight. Escorted by Tulsa police, supporters lined the parking lot of the Hard Rock. They waved flags and cheered for our nation's heroes on their drive out. Heroes like Vietnam veteran John Adams. It's all such a privilege to be allowed to go. You'll see every emotion possible. Lots of tears. Our radio friend at KRMG, Dan Potter, and his father-in-law and Vietnam veteran Eldon Lamb took the flight together too. I'm a basket of emotions. You know, part of it's excitement, part of it's trepidation. This could be a very powerfully emotional day. It will be that. It will be that. Just before takeoff, I tracked down the only World War II veteran on the flight, 96-year-old Earl Donaldson, and his son and fellow veteran Vincent. Well, that's great to have him along. It's a, it's a big honor. He's 96 years old, and how many folks get a chance to yeah. <laughs> go on a trip like this with a, their 96-year-old uh, dad? It's good. KRMG shared this sweet video with me once the group boarded the plane. America, America. Once in Washington, it was straight to the memorials for a full day of sightseeing, including a silent moment at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier you see here before heading back to Tulsa for the night. Covering news that matters, Julia Gorman, Fox 23 News.